What's up YouTube, coin flip back. We're gonna hunt another bag of nickels. Not sure if I've shown any of these on the channel yet, but I do go through these regularly. A lot of times I do these with my son because we can both kind of dig in and grab a handful. So that's always fun. We do have our Jefferson nickel hunt and fill, which again, I apologize, but I have filled up some of this quite a bit really with him in doing these bags. So not all these are gonna be there. I think probably the most noticeable are some of these 1945 Silver War Nickels, and then uh, most recently the 58 Philly, which is a semi-key date, only 17 million minted. But that being said, let's uh, get this stuff put back. We'll go over any that we have for upgrades or spot fillers in the book, and we'll get into the bag and let you know kind of what we find and go over that together. So let's get into it, and we'll bring you back in on our very first find. All right guys, this is only our second handful. And as you can see here, I got a 52. Let's uh, dump it out here, get it to focus. Looks like it's a 52 Philly. 1952 Philly, first find for the board. Same handful, also a foreign in there. 1998 Canadian nickel. Couple handfuls later, we have a 1941. 41 Philly. Next handful, just uh, uncovered a 1955 Denver. 55 Denver for the board. Same handful, and look at this, I wouldn't have guessed this, but look how clean this thing is. 1941, maybe it's been polished or something, but it's pretty clean. 41 Philly, second for the board. And that could be an upgrade. We'll take a look. All right, very next handful, actually. Just dumped them out. And it's 46. Basically jumped right out at me. This one's pretty slick. 46 Philly, but another find for the board. This bag's pretty hot. Very next handful again, 53. 53 Denver. The bag started off hot. And slowed down a little bit. It's been a few more handfuls later. Just uh, got another 46. 46 Philly, for second of the hunt. All right, just a few more later, and this one is pretty slick. I haven't looked at it yet, but it's gotta be old, right? Let's see what it is. 42 Philly, no mint mark on the back. That's the transition year. Could be war nickels, but uh, pretty cool find. We'll get it on the board. Same handful, and it looks like we're gonna have a 48 as well. No mint mark, 48 Philly. It has been a while since our last find and we just found a 41. 1941, this one is a Philly. We'll get that on the board. We're a few handfuls away from being done. So we'll bring you back on any other finds or on the recap. All right, next handful, we do have another one here. It's gonna be this 53. 1953. 53S, there we go. We did find some other 50s along the way, but mostly common dates or common varieties, if you will. We'll get the 53 on the board and keep moving. All right, very next handful again, you got another one. So it was cold in the middle, and like I said, we're getting down to the end. Can't hang on to this one. We got a 1949, 49 Philly. We'll keep moving. Our next find is gonna be 1956. 1956, Denver. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up that bag. Pretty good hunt. I think we had 23 finds overall. Uh, two upgrades are gonna be this nice 1961 Denver. So we'll get that switched out. That one is just a super nice coin. So that'll take place of this guy here. And then our 55 Denver. This one's a little bit dirty, if you will, but the uh, details are much better on this coin. Uh, than the one we have in the book. Unfortunately, we don't have any other spot fillers today. We did uh, probably upgrade some of these spots since the last time you saw it. Like I said, my son and I have done a couple of these bags. Uh, primarily the ones that we did pick up were the uh, 58 uh, Philly, 17 million minted there. We picked up that one and then we did pick up some uh, 45 uh, silvers along the way. Um, primarily everything else, I think, uh, 
has been hit or miss. But overall, uh, we're still waiting on most of the uh, 42s, 43s, and 44s over here, as you can see. Obviously, the 50 Denver, the 55 Philly, only 7.8, and then, of course, the uh, 39 D and S. Overall, uh, we had almost everything in the 50s otherwise. Uh, 259s, 58s, 57s, a 56. The 55 was a Denver, like we mentioned before. We did have a 54, two 53s, a 52, a 51. Again, no 50, unfortunately. Um, that was the other one we did pick up as well, was the uh, 50 Philly here. So not in great shape. So this is another of the spots uh, that we did pick up. So less than 10 million on that one. We did have a 49, 48, uh, two 46s, a 42. Again, being a transition year, this one's pretty slick. It does not upgrade. It's a 42 Philly. And then actually this is uh, that 41 uh, Philly as well. And again, that's a nicer coin. So we'll get that one switched out and just make sure we don't have any other upgrades along the way. But overall, a really good hunt. Just wanted to do something different doing those bag hunts. Never know what you're going to get. Again, if I've gone over this, but just a reminder, they basically, they'll count those at the bank. They will roll some and put those in the safe. The excess will go in the bags and the vault. So, um, but they don't go through these. They don't certify these. So my thought process is, is they haven't been looked at. Basically, you're going to find more variety um, in a sense. So maybe we can find more buffaloes or something else that was turned in and not uh, pick through and put in the rolls. Anyway, I, uh, as always, I appreciate you guys checking in or tuning into the videos and we'll catch you on the next one please hit that like and subscribe and we will see you on that next video coin flip out